Here is a quick video guide showing you how you can set up this PNL month on month comparison dashboard, which aggregates live data from QuickBooks using LiveFlow into this spreadsheet and updates everything in real time. The first step is to go to the Google Workspace Marketplace and install LiveFlow if you haven't done so already. If you already have, then simply head back to the sheet and we can start working on it. What you'll do is to go to File and then click on Make a Copy and then save this to your own Google Drive. And this will essentially create a duplicate of the sheet so that you can pull in your own data. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this Live PNL from QuickBooks tab. And what we're going to do is to replace all of this data with the data from your QuickBooks account. So what you're going to do is when you have LiveFlow installed, go to extensions, click LiveFlow and click on get started. And then what we want to do is essentially to replace our test data here with your own data so that you can pull that in. And the way to do that is really simple. Go over to manage reports, click on the live PNL from QuickBooks, click on change company here. And then select the company that you would like to change it for from the drop down menu here. Click on update and refresh report. And now you'll see in the background here that this data will now change to something else, which will be your data. There we go. Now you can minimize life flow and drag that out here. And now you see we have some new data, which is the data for your own account. Now you can head back to the profit and loss month month comparison dashboard. And you'll now see that everything here is updated with your own data. One small caveat, we have a gross margin row here and you'll see it, maybe see it in a different row depending on how much data you have. When we refresh the data, this one gets formatted as dollars. So all you need to do if you would like to, to fix this is to click on the percentage up here so they will be formatted as a percentage. Otherwise, you're good to go and let us know if you have any questions. Best of luck.